how do I know if I'm aging well? What can I do to make myself look better? These are some of the questions um, that our viewers are writing in. And of course, this uh, coming from when uh, we began the bulletin and said that would be that I'd be hosting a dermatologist in studio. Let's look into some of your tweets. I have oily skin. Choosing makeup is the hardest task I have got. This is Jane. Uh, Kabeste, I have hyperhydrosis hyper of the face. How do I make it stop? Hyperhydrosis. Doc, I hope you remember that term. <laughs> uh, Kenya pasta, it is good to eat well, preferably the fruits and fluids. Okay. Okay, great. So, Dr. Evans uh, Kamori, a dermatologist in studio, and it's good, of course, to have a guy addressing some of these issues. <laughs> um, so, let's begin, uh, Dr. Kamori, with what are the most common uh, conditions, skin conditions that patients come to you with? Um, one of the things, it, it, again, it depends on the age. Who is seeing me? If it's the young people between uh, 15, 16, 20, up to 25, acne. Mm -hmm. or what we call pimples is mm. the commonest. If it's young children, uh, neonates, infants, up to five years, the commonest problem is eczema. Eczema, like we call it an allergy, although it's not an allergy, but the skin presents on some scaling and itching, weeping sometimes. Th that's one of the commonest thing. However, as people get older, uh, 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 problems change. Uh, now, 30, 35, 40, people become conscious of how do I look, mm -hmm. oh, I have wrinkles, I, I'm aging too fast, some people get beards, as you've heard, somebody is sweating more than uh, they should be sweating, and then as you age further, 50, 60, now you start getting moles, uh, growth tags on the skin, uh, and sometimes uh, even uh, malignancy or, mm -hmm. or uh, skin cancers come much, much, much later. So the problems depend on what is the age. But okay. the commonest among the young is acne. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let's zero in on acne because, of course, this is something that a lot of young people, um, like you said, um, uh, are dealing with. And a lot of them are writing in asking about um, acne. Number one, what causes acne? How can it be managed? Okay. What is acne? Acne is what layman pimple what you call I have pimples or have rashes on the skin uh, it is what we call acne in a medical term what causes acne acne is only seen in people who have an oily skin mm -hmm. it's actually blockage of the pores or blockage of the glands that produce uh, fat or oil that makes your skin oily those people with a shiny skin mm -hmm. those people with wide pores those are the again people who are prone to Acne. Those are the people now you see with pimple. But what causes that blockage to occur? One of them is genetic. There are people who are actually predisposed to getting acne because of their genetic trend. The second one is hormones. They, w that's why most of the people when they are teenage, that's when acne comes because that's when your hormones change. The hormones that make you start getting your menses, the hormones that make your breasts to start grow, the hormones that make you become pregnant is the same hormone that actually make the sebaceous glands. Mm -hmm. Sebaceous glands are the glands that produce now the fat. They make them start overworking. That's hormone. The second is drugs. There are people also who are on some drugs one of the drugs again being contraceptive this oral contraceptive or injectable contraceptive they would cause also acne the other thing is some people actually their diet some sometimes some people when they eat some certain products they develop um, products like acne. for instance well like some fatty foods or uh, some uh, chemicals you don't want to start saying here otherwise you will be <laughs> yeah. sued by some people the other thing is lifestyle, oh. stress. Stress by itself, of course, it, it triggers a hormonal reaction and that makes, uh, makes uh, people get acne. Okay, so Dr. Kamori, so if, if this is a genetic issue, uh, it's beyond my control really, meaning then I have to come see a dermatologist to get help and to be told the way forward. But if it's my habits, say what I'm eating or my stress, how then, um, what do you advise a patient to do if their acne is just, um, occasioned by by certain things like if you get a flare-up um, yeah. occasionally because of perhaps something that you know that you do that could be causing that 
you see obvious if you know you are sometimes it's difficult to control stress but mm -hmm. if you know specifically my acne is because of a b c d the only treatment is withdraw once you withdraw from the culprit more often than not the acne will clear mm -hmm. however there are some things that we need to do basically for somebody with a, with acne the first thing we said people with acne have an oily skin so you have to know the routine of taking care of an oily skin okay. for example if you have an oily skin the don'ts is one you shall not use oily uh, oily products like if you are using a, a, a moisturizer you don't use an oil based moisturizer you use actually a water based mm -hmm. moisturizer okay very important use a water based, water -based and i think these are some of the things that people don't even look at when you buy yes. for instance a lotion a moisturizer a lot of people don't actually i mean perhaps i like this product that's all i know i like the way it smells that's it in fact most of our people we use products because so and so like now if lillian is using product XYZ and you look the way you look mm. everybody would want to use that product okay and without considering what is the skin type of mm. area okay and and I want to talk about eczema another condition that uh, children yes. babies yes. and even some adults um, 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 are, de are, are struggling with yes um, of course a very very annoying and almost just um, hard to control condition um, what do you advise patients to do is this also diet related is it allergy related what would you say causes it eczema to start with again eczema is a genetic thing it runs in family and you will find that somebody who has eczema if you track in the family you'll find also there is e asthma in that family there is what we call allergic rhinitis always they have running noses there is sneezing all the time and they also have allergic conjunctivitis they will always be itching their eyes because they run genetically mm -hmm. and eczema starts early in childhood the good thing about eczema early childhood up to five years most of them most of the children will outgrow eczema eczema is an inflammatory condition okay. characterized by itching you itch and then the skin become red and you get rashes mm -hmm. and it is distributed in some certain areas one of them when they are very young they will get patches on the face and many people will have been treated for fungal because when they see those round patches they say this is a fungal infection and they use some common uh, antifungal products but this is not fungal and then you will notice occasionally they itch and they weep you see like the skin is producing like water on mm. it that's when we call it weeping and that is when it's active children are not sleeping the child is very uncomfortable at night and then they start scaling is it treatable it is manageable it is not treatable not there is a difference between it's treatable it's manageable you actually manage it you can manage it and and live without eczema but it has the natural tendency of recurring how do you manage it one you stop the itch once you stop the itch then you, the the chances of it relapsing are less mm -hmm. two you apply fast moisturizer again like the way we are talking about the skin care moisturizer is one of the components that we know for sure that can maintain mm -hmm. eczema at a controlled level okay and then you must avoid irritants mm -hmm. like i know and i say here categorically all these medicated soaps if your child has eczema these are no go zone mm -hmm. no child shall be using medicated soap there is another myth that people have that when you have eczema or when your skin has a problem the bar soap is the best again i say here categorically that that is one of the most catastrophic thing because those irritates the skin and make the skin worse how do i know dr kamori if i am aging well or not a lot of women complaining about uh freckles a lot of women not even women men as well comp complaining about uh wrinkles hyperpigmentation age spots laughing lines we also have um women who talk about stretch marks i know this is totally diagnosed Progressing, but how do I know if I'm waging well or not? Anybody, Skin wise. Anybody who asks that, I always ask them if you go to a, a restaurant and somebody brings food, you had ordered the food you ordered, and you look at it, what do you see? What you see, they always say, Oh, this food looks nice. And when it looks nice, you say, And for sure, when you taste, it looks nice. When you look at your skin, you will always know whether you are aging gracefully or not. Wrinkles, the presence of wrinkles is one of the, uh, the the thing that will tell you that you are not aging well sagging 
eye, uh, having eyeballs around and wrinkles around your eyes, you will know that uh, you are not aging well. When you get wrinkles around the, the face again, you know something. And then freckles. You get freckles, you start getting uh, scales on your, on, your, on your skin. These are some of the things that will actually, and even folds on your neck, again, will tell you that either you are aging too fast mm -hmm. or uh, you are not aging well. What do I do? Mm -hmm, doctor, yes, what do you do, Dr. Kamori? Um, very quickly, let's touch on that as we wind up because we're pre pressed for time. What do you do? And uh, just tying together with that um, answer as well, what habits do you think are making um, our skin age prematurely? One, the, what do we do? The skin, I always say, in, in a nutshell, clean your, your, your face. Don't use hot water. Some people actually want to burn their face. And when you are rubbing, also wiping yeah, your water, people want to, they are fighting with their faces. <laughs> Don't fight with your face. Just, in fact, you're not supposed to rub the face. You're supposed to tap the face so that you can leave moisture on it. Two, whenever there is a pimple, don't squeeze. Don't pull. Don't 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 use those you know those ngunias people <laughs> used to watch their face that they are scrubbing. Don't and always makeups. If you are a person who does makeup, don't sleep on makeup. Mm -hmm. If you are using cleansers, don't use those harsh cleansers. Don't use harsh soaps. When you you clean your face, soothe it and use warm water. Now, the other thing we said to habits. to add habits. Mm -hmm. The major catastrophe of the skin are three things. One, stress. Two, smoking. I repeat, two, smoking. Because smoking is one of the things that are real bad. Three, alcohol. Especially those people who like the neat ones, as <laughs> I was telling you earlier. You want them dry or neat. Those are the third thing is diet. Uh -huh. People must learn to use balanced diet. You okay. eat well, uh -huh. and lastly, water. Okay. Hydration of your skin. E taking enough water in a day hydrates your skin uh -huh. and makes your skin lives lives uh, long. The last thing, sunscreen. I know many people don't like to invest on sunscreen. Sunscreen should be made mandatory. As the ozone is getting depleted, the UV exposure to our skin is becoming higher and higher. So we are getting more sun damage. And the so wear sunscreen, ages, whether it's raining, whether it's or whether raining, it's hot. whether oozing or what, sunscreen must be on your face. Okay. Always. Because what, that is what, 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 is what do they call it? The, the higher SPF. the SPF? Any sunscreen you are using that is less than 20, especially for us Africans, is of no use. Okay. It must be sunscreen SPF 20 and above. Final question, of course, as you can see from our uh, video wall here, uh, we have a beauty consultant, a beauty therapy, and our model there uh, will be going through just what you should do, a demo of what you should do when you wake up in the morning, at the end of the day, your skin care, what are the do's? as regards your skincare. Finally, a final question. For the people who love skin lightening, please, Monica, my director, allow me to ask this. The, the people who like skin lightening, and particularly because this is all over our counters, yes. um, off the counter, uh, people are just skin lightening, yes. left, right, and center. What are they looking at in terms of the effects five years from now? Yes, we'll look nice and light-skinned and very pretty for now, but five years from now, what are the effects of that? Yes, I always say you will look uh, good from far now but you'll be far from good. In future, you are looking at a kidney that is failing because some of these products actually uh, go and they are filtered in the kidney. Two, you lose your sun protection. You lose the effect, the, the skin capacity to protect you from the sun is lost. So you are likely to get uh, skin cancers in future. And three, you age five times faster. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. You, you age five times you age faster. Five times faster. Once you remove the skin color, the dark pigmentation on your skin, once you remove any inch you remove, you age five times faster. So when you are 40, you will be looking 60. When you are 60, you will be 100. Okay. Well said, Dr. Kamari. Thank you so much for your, for your you. time. Of course, a very wide topic, and we hope that in the future we'll be able to talk some more on all, all these other skin issues that a lot of people are writing to us and asking questions on Dr. Evans Kamori, a dermatologist in studio tonight. Use the hashtag one-on-one. -on -one. We'll be crossing over to our skin consultant, our skin therapist, who will be taking us through a facial and what you need to do. First thing in the morning, at the end of the day, what do you need to do? Whether you're male or female, by the way, this is not just for the women. Guys, you also need to pay attention. Wahi Gamara is next with the day sports.